Alright, what's up man? My name is G Money and welcome to part two of the tourism video from previously earlier. And now we're gonna be focusing on a bud the basic budget to um tour, yeah, the tour budget. That's what I meant to say. Ah <laughs> tour. And in the category, you're gonna divide your page into three. One on top of the when you divide your page into three, you're tabulating it obviously. And first you're gonna tabulate it and it's gonna be categories. The first one, and remember back from the previous video, it's been the first one is gonna incorporate your accommodation, your transport, your meals, and your attractions. The next one is gonna calculate the calculations. So remember the first one says categories and you're saying your accommodations, your transport, your meals, your attractions. Then the next one has the calculations. Now there's a, there are nuances in the calculation and it requires you to really read the question to better understand you because I don't want to give indications of them. But generally, this is what I've noticed from answering questions and stuff like that, is that they will like to say people, you know, you know, um, when you, when you're calculating for people, calculate the amount of people going, you know what I'm saying? You know, but then the, the tricky thing they like doing is they like to add children or pets and shit like that. They love adding that shit just to fuck you up. So what you do is you still calculate the people. So if they two people, you just say whatever the, whatever the accommodation, the transport, the meals, the attraction costs times the people. So that maybe might be 3000 for like accommodation, the two people times the two people times the two nights you get your, get your outcome. You get your, and then you put your outcome at the third one we mentioned, which is total. So remember now, we're dividing out, we're tabulating and we're dividing into three. Category, category has your accommodation, your transport, your meals, your attractions, and then your calculations, the actual calculations, and then the total. Then the total is how much, you know, how much you, you get from the calculations. And then until at the bottom you put total, Another total, when you add it all together, obviously you gotta put another total at the bottom. You have never done maths, bro. <laughs> another thing, now we're transitioning into health and safety. Because, you know, dog, you gotta be healthy, you gotta enjoy your trips, bro. You gotta enjoy your trips. But an organization that's very much in charge of safety and issues called the World Health Organization. Woo! <laughs> well, it gives health advice to tourists. And other health issues, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you need to know this stuff, bro. Like you, you can't be going to places like there was a thing called sex tourism back in the 80s and 90s. That industry kind of boosh, dropped with when Magic Johnson came out and said, "Yo, bro, I got AIDS." And I'm like, Ish. and Africa's the head of that, Ish, bro. Like Africa's like the mascot of this shit. We're not going to Africa. And then certain parts of Europe had the AIDS epidemic because of the gay, gay, uh, um, the gay culture they allow gay people, and also the red district that part as well. But going back to that, you also get health certificates. Health certificates tell you the precautions you have to, you have taken on. Well, man, we're not in English class. The health petitions you have taken as a tourist. So maybe the example we use with AIDS. Maybe you took ARVs, condoms. I don't know, but it tells you it's documented that oh he took he took um vaccinations. You name it, he took pills. Your health is important, dog. Yes, leisure and and expansion of the mind is very important. But you need to take good care of yourself. You care of yourself, bro. Like that's that's point one. Take care of yourself, and that's why we have a health certificate. The next thing, they travel clinics, and travel clinics are just like your normal clinics. I've never, I've never been to a travel clinic. I hope they're not like your normal clinics, cause your normal clinics, dark, are awful, bro. They, they, they are awful. But either ways, in the travel clinic. I just pray they're not the same. In the travel can they give you vaccination and they also help sick tourists because like I'm not gonna lie, like I went to clinics dog and I've been suffering the same injury forever and it's gonna be like bro like ish this health you need to make money dog like really I need money in this bitch if you wanna really make it out of this bitch. And then the major diseases, my favorite, malaria. I love this one. I don't know why I should be saying I love a disease, but I really like this one because 
I don't know. I just like it because in my mind, I picture Dracula. Because, like, malaria is from mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes, they bite you. And the, the mosquitoes have this virus. Or should I say parasite? More of a parasite than a virus. So that's why in my image, I just I envision Dracula. I don't know why, but I envision Dracula. Another thing is, with malaria, you have them symptoms, bro. Them symptoms is the fever, but you be, you be like, just chill. You don't feel good. That stuff is not good. No, even though this is my favorite, um, it's just it don't feel. You start vomiting, bro. I know vomiting is not nice, bro. Like vomiting, especially that when the acid, dog, the acid that is just just the heartburn. It just it hits you here, bro. Like, it's like you're swallowing an invisible ghost dick, dog. It's not really that nice. It's like it's like ugh, it's not that nice, bro. Vomiting like the flu. Flu is better, but. But this might be weird for someone who's never like... I'm not gonna lie, when I was... I don't know why I really like malaria. When I was like, I thought I had malaria because, like, in summer, like, you get the mosquito bites, dog. Especially when you live you live in damp, hot, moist places, dog. And the mosquitoes. And I used to panic. I used to be like, ah, I got malaria, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I got AIDS as well because, hey, strong, like, mosquitoes go from other people. You know what I'm saying? So I was scared as a child, bro, of that shit. But going back to that, there's also headaches, blues, and also headaches. Another thing that's also what scared me as a child, because I was used to get stung by these mosquitoes and be like, oh, shit, man, I don't want to die at a young age, bruh. Especially, you know, when you get stung by the mosquito and then the pimple grows and it mutates and becomes this really big, ugly, disgusting, deformed thing. <laughs> Preventative measures, dog, wear long clothes, bruh. Wear long clothes. Sleep in a mosquito net. You know, I know that that one, the, the long clothes in the mosquito net are not nice. I know that because like I'm someone, I, I enjoy my freedom. I enjoy my ability to like roam around and move and stuff like that. I don't really enjoy that. Like that's why I feel like if I wasn't like if I wasn't black or something, I'd be like Arabic. Like they dress really. I like how they dress because like I've dressed that before, and it's like I. I, it's like it's very aerodynamic like a car. It's very aerodynamic. I like that. It's very aerodynamic. Another thing, use mosquito repellent, dog. Like F them them people who say it's not it's not green. Man, your life is more important than malaria in this motherfucker. That's what's fucking important. It's more fucking important. Then take anti malaria tablets before the trip, you know. And also after, I think, because like the malaria, apparently, I don't know if this is true, but apparently the malaria disease is adapting. I don't know if the right word is adapting or evolving. So certain treatments, it's like, it's mutating, it's adapting. Oh, you're trying to kill us, homie? We've been here before medicine. So it's like a transformer. It's being a Decepticon. It's, it's finding ways. So, it's finding ways to, like, beat the system with the drugs that we're using. So, I don't know if that is true or not. But let's hope it's not. <laughs> let's really hope that it's not. But, but unfortunately, man, I have to end it here. I have to go do some important shit right now. But thank you very much. You know, everybody knows it's like to share something. When you share something, it's because it was very fun, engaging, and mentally stimulating many people share something because it's very interesting they've never seen things done from a different angle and many people share something because it's like a virus it infected them in a good way and they want more of it and you can find yourself feeling the need to share something for the reasons i mentioned or for the reasons that make sense to you thank you very much